So for number five, uh, they want us to first compute u, v, and w. So uh, to add vectors, so we're going to go u plus v plus w. What we're going to do here is uh, just add the first components and put them in the place for the first component, and then add the second and put it in the second place, and so on. So uh, we're going to do u, which is 1, plus minus 3. So we have 1 minus 3, and then plus 2. Now we're going to add the second component, so we have 2 uh, plus 1 plus 1 minus 3, and then we have 3 minus 2 and minus 1. And so if we add all of these, we're going to get 1 minus 3 is going to be minus 2 plus 2 is 0, 2 plus 1 3 minus 3 0, and that's going to be 1 minus 1 0. Okay. So. Let's do now 2u plus 2v plus w. So 2u plus 2v plus uh, w. So when we do this, we're going to get do 2 times the first one, so 2 times 1, and then plus 2 times the second one, so plus, so rather uh, the first element of the second vector, so 2 minus 3, and then plus 1 times v, so just plus 2. And then we're going to do 2 times the second element, so 2 times the second element, plus 2 times the second element here, plus 2 times 1, and then plus just the middle element, so that's going to be actually minus 3, right? And then we're going to do 2 times the third, so 2 times 3, uh, plus 2 times the second, so 2 times minus 2, and then just plus the third, which is minus 1. So when we do this, we are going to get, let's see, that's going to be um, 2 minus 6, so minus 4 plus 2 gives us minus 2. And then we're going to have 2 times 2, so 4 plus 2, 6 minus 3, that's going to give us 3. And then we're going to have uh, 2 times 3, 6 uh, minus 4, so that gives us 2 minus 1 gives us 1. Okay. And so that is it for 2u plus 2v plus w. So now it's asking us how do we know that um, how do we know that u, v, and w they lie on a plane? Well, if we look at these calculations, they do tell us something interesting, right? They do tell us that u plus v plus w is equal to zero. So it means that if we move things around, it means that u this implies that u plus v, if it's equal to the zero vector, then if we put is equal to minus w. If we bring the w to the other side, this is going to check out. And the reason that we know this is because if we do 2 plus minus 3, so minus 2 is equal to the opposite of this, right? And similarly, 2 plus 1, 3 is equal to the opposite of minus 3, and 3 plus minus 2, 1 is equal to the opposite of negative 1. And so from here, we can see that because it follows this rule that uh, u, v, and w are linearly dependent, where uh, minus w is equal to u plus v. And so because they're linearly dependent, um, it means that we only have two linearly independent vectors, right? And so only two vectors that can add dimensionality. So that means that we are stuck in 2D. And that is it for number five.